Hello, hello. So I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu server. And I'm just installing this on a virtual machine just so that I can record it. So I set up a virtual machine here. I also mounted the uh, Ubuntu server ISO file or ISO yeah, file here. So I'm just going to start it up and just minimize the bar back here. And first thing you see when you sort of boot your computer on the server is this and you just select language English uh, for if you want English on your installation you can select whatever you want there I'd select English because that's what I'm used to and then you got these options here and I select the top one here install Ubuntu server press enter and next thing you select is the language for the installation process I just select English so just press enter here and now you need for the time zone uh, if you live in the United States just press enter here whatever I actually live in Europe so I select other and select Europe and press S and then I just use the arrow keys select Sweden for this and for some reason it doesn't recognize the keyboard so I'm just going to select United Kingdom right now and now you get the option to for the server to detect your kind of keyboard I have a Swedish keyboard so I select the arrow keys here to yes and press enter and I select just the Swedish characters one of them and it automatically detects it so and you press enter here to continue and so we do some stuff here and I will show you everything without any any fast forwarding or anything like that no no cutting you see how long it will take and of course it will vary I'm running this virtual machine on a NVMe drive so it's pretty fast but if you install it on a mechanical hard drive it will take of course a lot longer but the same it's it's the same procedure so he's doing some stuff here the network So yeah, this is real time, no fast forwarding or anything, it's pretty fast because I am, as I said, on a NVMe drive here. And here's the next thing you need to do, and you need to select the name for the computer, and of course you can use the default here if you want to. I'm actually going to change it, and I keep it to maximum of 8 characters, just for keep it simple so I'm going to name it Ubu serve and it's a v virtual machine so this is eight characters and to move forward I press tab and you get to the continue I press enter and full name of the user I'll just, just test for this and press tab enter username for the account yeah that's fine press tab enter password you need to press tab twice to get to the continue type the password again press tab twice enter encrypt your home directory no I don't want that and based on your present physical location and time zone is Europe Stockholm that is correct so just press enter here yes
and now you get this option and I use the default here use entire disk and set up LVM just press enter and you can see that I have five hard drives here and I'm going to use the first one the you see they are named SDA SDB SDC and the smallest one here is the 85 gig or 86 the SDA so I select it and just press enter and write changes to disk and use your arrow keys to select and then just press enter on yes and the amount the volume of the drive and I want to use everything so I just press tab here to get to continue and press enter write the changes to disk use the arrow keys enter Let's see how long this will take. And if you use a HTTP, HTTP proxy, you can type that here, but I don't use a proxy, so I just press tab here to get to the continue and press enter. And you can choose to install security updates automatically and stuff like that I usually do that manually so I select no automatic updates and you can move between these with your arrow keys up and down and then you just press enter here and now I actually want to install some extra stuff and use arrow keys here and to select you choose uh, or you use the space bar to select and you see there's a star there it's a lamp I also want Samba space and open SSH server so space over there so everything with the star here will be installed and then to move on you press the tab key to get to continue press enter And then you need to enter a password for the MySQL server here. And I suggest it's a different password from your account password. And then you press tab twice to get to the continue. Press enter. Retype the password. Press tab twice enter okay 10 minutes almost so yeah and this will of course take longer time time if you uh, install it on a mechanical drive as I said before I'm just doing this in a virtual machine so that I can show you how it works 
and also some future videos that I will create. So the only reason I have this on a virtual machine is that so that I can record it and show you how to set things up. Then it's going to install the bootloader, the grub. Install a grub bootloader. Install the grub bootloader to the master boot record. Yes or no? Yes, I want to. Just press enter. And I'm actually going to select the first one here called dev slash sda because that's the drive that I actually installed the virtual machine on or Ubuntu server on. So I'll just select that and press enter. So yeah, and installation complete. And if you use like a CD or a USB stick, you take the CD out or remove it, and then you press continue, and server should reboot. And just let it be like this, and it will automatically start. And you end up with this and the server doesn't have any desktop environment so you just get this sort of login prompt and remember the account I created it's test so just test and the password and you can see right here it left there are some updates and to be able to install all of them you need to type this sudo up get and this upgrade if you just select upgrade it won't install every, every update so you need to have it uh, this upgrade Press enter and then the password. Do you want to continue? Yes. Enter. And this may might take a little, little while. So we'll see how long this will take. Yeah, I got kind of a fast internet connection. I got 100 megabit in both directions, so downloading the updates is pretty fast. And of course, this may take a few minutes if you have a mechanical hard drive.
So yeah, this might take a little while because there's a lot of updates. And I will actually create a raid array later on so that MDM, no config, no arrays. That's because there's no arrays at the moment. I'll show you how to create a raid array as well later on. So you can see there's a lot of different updates. So even on a fast NVMe drive, it takes a while. And now you are back in the command prompt, so just to clear here, clear everything. And I run a uh, this dist upgrade again, just to see if there's any more updates. And this sets zero to upgrade, no newly install. And right now I'm just going to reboot the computer or the server, and you do that by sudo reboot now. And then you log in, test. And there you see no more updates, zero packages can be updated. So that's how you install it. So now you can actually shut. How do you shut it down? Well, instead of reboot, you do sudo shut down now. You need to type the password. So yeah, and that's it. Took about 18 minutes to do that. So yeah, that's how you install and update Ubuntu server. So see you later.